Hello, you mouthful of used hairnets. Jim Sterling here, and this is Lazaretto. Chapter 1. It's a first person horror game on Steam. Now, I was going to ignore it, but as you just saw from that intro that was fading out, the official artwork is some fucker wearing a bird skull mask, so what am I supposed to do? Not cover this. Let's hit new game and see what's going on. Irk Brat Crooks, check this out. Found this key at my grandma's house, and I'm sure it's from the old quarantine island where my grandfather used to work. Call me crazy, but I dreamt about this. I'm going tomorrow. Who's in? Okay. Uh, could have started loading it on that other screen, but, you know, what do I know? All right. Okay, here we go. That was such... That is such a dodgy way to start a walking animation. I thought it was a cutscene, like, starting. I didn't think I had control for a moment. Look at that, the sway. That's the kind of sway that indicates a transition from gameplay to uh, controlled first-person cutscene. For those not too familiar with uh, the visual language of games, I've played enough first-person games to understand that that kind of sway is normally when a character's getting on something or off something. Like, I thought they were going to get in this boat and maybe just leave the island and fuck off. But no, we do we do have plenty more going for us in Lazaretto. Fuck it now. Okay. Sorry, I'm just so... It's been such a long time since an area that small needed its own loading screen. It's been a while. So here we are, exploring... This game's all about the exploration, apparently. Oh, okay. We can hide in a thing there. Not quite as elegant as Outlast, but that's something we can do. Sure you're aware by now's major incident on the island grounds last night. I'm only hearing bits and pieces from the police. There are many deaths and injuries. Rumour has it they may shut the entire station. Offered our assistance. Off limits. Further notice. Okay. Regret to report. Frank was gravely injured. Do not know the situation or the status. Pray for the best. Okay. So the station shut down, some dude got attacked, there's another piece of paper over there. If I open this, is it just going to have to load something again? Okay, uh, no, so that's good. There's no combat in this game, that's one thing they were quite proud of in there. Actually, the store page has some fascinating stuff going for it. Uh, let me just bring that up for my own satisfaction here. Uh, the main thing is is Invisible Evil. I'm very confused about this. Uh, on the store page, it says, Invisible Evil, run from a terror that you can see, but not hear. Listen carefully for audio clues, then try to get away. Now, what kind of fucking sentence is that? What does that mean? Invisible Evil. Invisible says you can't see it, but it says run from a terror that you can see, but not hear. So, it should actually say inaudible evil. But then it says, listen carefully for audio clues, then try to get away. So which is it? Is it invisible evil that we can't see but we can hear? Or is it inaudible evil that we can't hear? Uh, that can't... So, fucking hell, even I'm getting confused by my own fucking talking here. You see my complaint. I don't know whether it's an invisible or an inaudible evil. I am really unsure as to the nature of the evil. I mean, I know that we're going to have to run away and use those lockers if an invisible or inaudible evil turns up anytime soon. Apparently Frank has the only key to these doors. Okay, use the outside staircase. So, can't open them. Very violent! <laughs> Padlock engostingly violent. Look at it engosting this padlock. Oh, do it again! Oh. I was going to point out what I meant by engosting. That's just my new way for things clipping through other. <gasps> I heard some. I heard audio. Is that an audio clue for an invisible evil? I. I don't know. Oh. Okay. Bats that are nowhere now. They had nowhere to go. Okay. What's this? Oh. Oh, that was easy. I don't. Maybe it's not for that door, though. Oh. Oh, fucking hell. They don't clean these out when they're done with them, do they? That is a lot of skulls. Okay, that key did not unlock that door. There was a door in here, but it's just a lavvy. It's just a toilet. So. 
there might be a door this way that we haven't opened. I mean, we do still have an outdoors that we can explore. There might be other areas. I think I saw a cave. So we might just need to go in here for the key. Or maybe not. Maybe the key was for this. It's hard to tell. So, oh. Just click. And then press up. And that's horrible. That's, that's a horrible ladder animation. That makes one feel quite queasy. But we'll carry on regardless. Running up the old stairs. Doopy doopy doo. Oh, fuck. Fuck! I misjudged. Okay, there we go. Fucking hell. If that were me in real life, I'd be dead, like, halfway up the first flight. Okay, here we go. Aha! Uh -huh. I say that as if there's proof that I've done something significant or exciting. But we've got ourselves an objective. Explore the hospital. I can do that. Yeah, I can get that done. Still don't know anything about this evil. But we are in a spooky hospital now, so... One expects the spooks to start happening. Let's obviously try and find ourselves a locker or whatever. Quick. It's always good to know where the escape routes are. Not really seeing any in this main hall. Yeah. I'm, uh... Really not fond of the head movement, the head bob and everything. I've complained about that in many a horror game. For some reason, it's always first-person horror games. They think that excessive head bob is, I don't know, immersive or something. But I don't like it. I don't like the big swing. Like it, like they're holding a heavy camera or something as, as they're moving. Don't like that. Don't like the way it wibble wobbles. Make yourselves available to work the event on Saturday night. As usual, I recommend you come togged to the bricks. Never heard that saying before. Togged to the bricks. Oh, there we go. Spooky girl. The usual. See, I can hear audio. That's, I, I heard what sounded a bit like footsteps, but I don't know if that's an audio clue. I shouldn't have read the Steam page. Like, those are footsteps, aren't they? Defo's footsteps. Oh, well. Oh. Okay, access restricted area. But we have access. I guess. Unless we've just loaded something up and there's a big door that says you can't come fucking through here. Fuck you. Otherwise known as, uh... The surge level design. Okay. This broken piece of mask is all that's left of my sweet Sally. Pray for justice. Meet us in the barn tonight, 10 o'clock. Please lock it in your drawer. Give the key to Connie. Alright. So, there's some bit of a mask in here, I guess. But we've got to find Connie's room. Hospital room. Oh, fuck. That's locked and all. Not really... I mean, I'm sure there is something interesting in there. It just doesn't look very tantalising from here. And they really are restricting our access in this area. Alright. Bollocks drawer. Bollocks curtain. Yeah. So I can hear those noises, but now I've heard them a couple of times, so I'm not that bothered about them. <sighs> Oh, okay, that door closed itself. Now I can hear some crying in the background. It looks like we're heading towards the kicking off of some scares. But normally these games have uh, blown their load by now. This one's actually trying to keep some sense of pacing going. My room key is in this drawer as we can. Okay, that's Connie's. We need a key for her thing. It's not going to be in 
here, is it? That would be too easy. But at least we know which place we got to go. It's opposite the green door room. Yes. Right up the other end. Fuck knows where the other one is now. The other room we go to once we get that key. I've fucking forgotten. Alright. <sighs> it's going to be a long walk back. Wandering around the hospital, not a lot's happened. These chairs moved, some bricks over there moved, some things are moving around under their own power. Yeah, that was another one. Yep. The chair wasn't quite sure about whether it wanted to fall over or not. I don't know, those were quite sure about falling. Very enthusiastic kitchenware. Anything else want to throw itself off the shelves? No? Uh-huh. Not a lot's going on, really. Yeah. Oh, there's something in there. Hello. <laughs> no, I can see you. That's why I was sniggering to myself. <sighs> uh. Is the door closing? Yeah, it's uh, really gone beyond the pacing stage and into the fucking boring stage. It's a thin line that a lot of horror games just don't bother worrying about crossing. Another oh, mystery to add to the strange. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Oh god, there's loads of it. There's fucking loads of it. Alright, all them letters were boring to read, but they did finally clear things up. It is an invisible evil that you can hear. Footsteps, specifically, were name-drept. Uh, name I was going to say name-checked, but I wanted to say name-dropped. So I said name-drept. Funny how that happened sometimes. That was the most interesting part of this whole experience so far. Was me... Almost, but not completely saying name-drept. Fucking hell. Uh huh. Spooky ghost bottle. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, it's scared. Oh. Oh, shut up! Oh, hang on. I think that's the monster. I'm really bored, so I'm just going to walk over to it, see what happens. Hello! Oh. Is that it? I mean, surely something actually scary? No? I... Is that it? 